proper application of bond to it. When we start this, um, you'll want to cut the ends of your PVC and your polyethylene square to start off with. First of all, we'll sand the coupling. Just run the sandpaper around it a few times. It just has to be slightly roughed up. It doesn't have to be totally roughed up. Then take your sandpaper, put it around your pipe, and just sand just to take off the bright edge of those. Same with your polyethylene. The polyethylene is the one that you're going to need to sand a little better just because of the uh, low energy of the plastic. But again, it doesn't take long. After we get this done, we have both sides of the coupling sanded, both ends of the um, PVC and the polyethylene sanded. They are ready to be mated. We'll want to take some TR. This removes any dirt and grime on the pipe to perform a good connection, just like a primer would do for a PVC coupling that you should clean the PVC coupling off with. So very similar to that. This also displaces any water that might be on the pipe. Now we're ready for applying the bondoy. Go ahead. Now to apply the bondoy, we have to assemble the gun. The teeth is, um, are on the bottom side. They get pushed in here. Lift up the metal tab in the back, slide it in. Now open the lever here. We'll slide in the cartridge. With both, with your thumbs in the back, just push back up with your fingers. Oops, come back a little bit. And it'll snap into place. If this was a previously used cartridge, the nozzle would be remaining on here. Again, you just slide it in push it in, you're set to go. Um, this nozzle has been reacted off before. All you need to do is to remove the um, nozzle, eject a small amount to make sure they're coming out evenly and there's nothing thing, and then put the nozzle on here. For a new cartridge, we'll do, demonstrate that too. Pull that back. Put We'll slide this in, take off the tip here. This piece can be thrown away. Slide a tip on, I mean, before you slide the tip on, again, prime the cartridge. One side will be overfilled to the other. You just keep on pumping until they both start coming off. Then they're ready to put the nozzle on here. Now we pump up the nozzle and I'll come out a uniform gray. Now we're ready to apply it. Well, all we'll do is make a zigzag pattern on the conduit, about the depth of the conduit, I mean the coupling. This is easier when they're in pieces like this, but it's still not hard in the field. slide this in here. That piece is already installed. We can smooth the ends to make them look nice, but this is not necessary. Now we can do the other side. Again, we'll make a zigzag pattern. Again, uh, we can go all the way upside down. They, it has, it's a very thick citropic material, so it doesn't drip. And we'll just keep on going here. It hangs very well on the piece. Again, we'll try doing as much twisting as we can putting the pipe together. Again, just run your finger around it to smooth it off. Again, that is not necessary. Just make the joint looks good. And then we're applied it. Again, we're going to let this sit for one hour and then do a pull out on this one. So we'll just leave that set here.
again, we have, you can use the bell end of the PVC or a um, flared end. These work, these actually make life a lot easier. All we need to do, rough up the inside of the bell end or flared end. Again, sand the polyethylene. Now we're ready to apply the um, bonduit on here. Again, I didn't have to prime it this time. The um, bonduit will last about four minutes before you have to throw away the tip. So um, we can use the um, tips for more than one coupling if you get everything prepared ahead of time. Now again, you can just slide it in. Again, you try twisting it a little bit as you're pushing it in. Make it smooth on the ends just to make it look nice. And that one's all done. That's a lot quicker, that, that flared in.